Hey, welcome to my channel, Angel Liz. I hope if you're clicking on this video, you are a growing channel and you're looking for some sound advice. This advice that I'm giving you guys today is advice that was given to me along the way. And as you can see, my channel is growing as well. But these are things that have helped me to improve on my content and to improve my channel. So I'm going to call this five tips. And I'm going to give you these tips one at a time. So the first one that I want to do is focus on your watch hours. The reason I say that is because I know with growing channels a lot of times, the first thing we focus on is our subscriber count. We really should be focusing on those watch hours, especially if you have the goal of being monetized. Now, if you're just doing it for fun, then do whatever you want to do. But if you're doing it with the goal in mind of becoming a paid partner with YouTube, which is being monetized, then you want to definitely focus on your watch hours. The way to do that is by going live. We know the live streams are the quickest way to gain those hours and to also make longer videos when you're trying to focus on your hours. So that's the first one, focus on your hours. The second one that I want to give you guys is to focus on your content. Now, we know a lot of times when you're starting out on YouTube, there's times where you're not really sure. Like maybe you have a, an idea of what you want to do, so you just start posting videos. Nothing wrong with that. But you just want to make sure that your videos are clear. You want to make sure that people understand what your videos are about. There's a lot of information out there on YouTube about how to do videos, how to make, you know, your, your content make sense. So definitely utilize what's already out there as far as your content goes and how to make better content. Because you definitely don't want to feel as though you are just posting content and it doesn't have a direction. And no one can tell you what your channel is about but you. You know what your channel is about and you know what you want to post. So no matter what you post, just make sure that that people understand it. So that's two, focusing on your content. Number three, don't compare your channel to anyone else's channel. We've all been there where we... We get in a niche and we say, okay, I'm a mukbang channel. So we start comparing ourselves to every mukbang channel out there. We start comparing ourselves to the big channels, the medium channels, the small channels. We just are comparing ourselves and we're driving ourselves crazy. We're trying to do things that we really don't have the means to do because we're comparing ourselves. Don't compare your channel to anyone else's channel. Your channel is your channel and how you do it is your way and be okay with being yourself and doing it your way. The fourth thing that I wanna talk about, number four, networking. Now we all know that when you start YouTube, you network and you, you know, you, you you're just subscribing, you're grabbing people, you're just everywhere, you're just, you're all over the place because you're trying to get that subscriber count. Here's the thing, here's my advice to you. Don't just subscribe for the sake of subscribing because the thing is, is that you're doing that, those people probably aren't gonna subscribe to you. And you want to subscribe to channels that you're interested in and that you can learn from because here's what's going to happen. You're going to subscribe to all these channels and you're not interested in this stuff. So you're just going to have a bunch of cluttered notifications for stuff that you're not even interested in. For people that you know you're not going to watch their channels. If you're not a gamer, why would you subscribe to 100 gaming channels? Knowing you're not a gamer, you're not even interested in gaming. Why would you subscribe to a bunch of natural hair channels when you're bald? I'm just saying, I'm just using it as an example. Don't subscribe to things that don't interest you because you're just going to get notifications and you're not going to watch it. And guess what? They're not going to watch your content either. So as opposed to just subscribing for the sake of a number, be selective. Choose things that you're interested in and things that you can actually learn something from. 
don't subscribe just for the sake of subscribing. That's number four. My last and final thing, number five, be patient. Rome was not built in a day. Don't be hard on yourself and push yourself to do things that you may not have the means to do at the moment. Just be patient, take your time. There's nothing wrong with improving and taking the time to improve. No one comes on and is just perfect. But take your time, be patient. Be patient because the thing is, is you don't want to burn out. Take breaks if you need to. But just be patient and just know that all of that is going to come together. Your channel is going to grow. You're going to eventually get monetized. But just be patient. So that was just the five, the, the top five things that I wanted to give. And these are just some additional tips that I wanted to kind of talk about. Because these are things that people advised me on when I started. Check your setup. If no matter what you're filming with, where you're filming, you want to make sure that your setup looks good. And I know not everybody can afford backdrops. I don't have any backdrops just yet myself. But just make sure that your filming area or where you're filming your videos at is neat and that your videos are clear. And the way to really be certain of how your video is going to look is to test it first. Set up your phone or your camera, whatever you're using, and film yourself. Do just a short clip just to see how it looks. If you're doing a month long, make sure that your food is visible and that way you're not in the middle of your video trying to adjust your camera, trying to adjust your phone, whatever you're filming, whatever device you're using to film. You just want to make sure that you check your setup before you actually film a whole video and post it. Because granted, there's many of us that don't edit. We don't we don't like editing, so we don't edit. However, there are certain things that need to be edited out because you might have dropped the phone or the camera might have fallen over. That's something that'll distract from your video. So you want to make sure that your setup is okay before you actually go through and film the whole video and then you can't edit it out because maybe you don't have editing software so you can't edit it and then you just post it and people are like at the point where your camera falls over they're done they don't want to watch it anymore because they're like okay this is too much so yeah definitely just just do a little test and make sure that it's that it's set up one other piece of advice that was given to me by another YouTuber was make sure that when you're filming, you're filming in landscape. We have a tendency to set our phones up in portrait and just like we're taking a picture or a selfie. Well, you don't want to do that when you're filming a video. You want to film in landscape so that you have a bigger um, recording. You have a, a bigger viewing space. Not recording, but a viewing space. So that when people watch the videos, it's full screen and not just a strip, which is what happens when you film a portrait. The last thing that I want to say, and I know this probably sounds corny, but you see me right here with my pen and I have my little notepad. Make notes for yourself to help you stay on task. There's nothing wrong with making notes for yourself to help you stay on task. So just make sure that, because I know not everyone has a bad memory, but it's, it's good to make notes for yourself to help you stay on track and so that you're not trying to figure out what it was that you wanted to talk about. Nothing wrong with it. Doesn't make you sound robotic. Just, it just helps you to keep flowing. So I hope that you guys find this video helpful. Drop me a comment if you have any questions. But please give this video a thumbs up and hit that red button and turn it gray. You won't regret it. So I appreciate you guys for watching and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.